I told Mel, I have three more dailies to write. Mel said, I understand. I have nine more dailies and four Sundays to write. I don't have time to talk, Mel, I said. Mine are due in four days. Mel said, I understand. Mine are due at five o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> Mel, I said, I'm not only writing and drawing my strip completely by myself, now the syndicate wants me to work on books and merchandise. Mel said, I understand. I write and draw two comic strips completely by myself. I've published a shelf full of books, had a licensing program, had my first novel published, and I'm writing my second novel in the evenings. Aha, Mel, but I'm raising a daughter while I do this. Mel said, I understand. I'm raising three daughters, six grandchildren, and I have found time to marry the most incredible woman on earth. I haven't even had time to get my NCS dues in yet, Mel, I said. Mel said, I understand. I was the president of the NCS for four years, spent thousands of hours traveling all over the world, dealing with the board, the picky complaints of hundreds of cartoonists, while I was doing the two strips, the books, the merchandise, writing the novels, raising the daughters and grandchildren, marrying the most incredible woman on earth, and paying my dues, and I starred in the Mur Murder She Wrote TV episode. <laughs> Look, I said, I might, need, I might not even have time to go to the Rubens this year. Mel said, I understand. I scouted, organized, and pulled off two of the most memorable Reuben weekends in history, wrote all 10,000 jokes in the Reuben Journal for 28 years while I was doing the strips, the books, the merchandise, writing the novels, raising the daughters and grandchildren, marrying the most incredible woman on earth, paying my dues, starring in TV shows, and running the NCS. This is giving me a headache, Mel, I said. Mel said, I understand, I've had headaches. I also had cancer, heart disease, and surgeries while I was doing the two strips, the books, the merchandise, writing the novels, raising the daughters and granddaughters, marrying the most incredible woman on earth, paying my dues, running the NCS, starring in TV shows, planning Reuben weekends, and writing 10,000 jokes for the Reuben Journal for 28 years. You know what, Mel, I said, I can't take the pressure I'm quitting my strip and going to live with mom in Florida for a few months. Mel said, I understand. I've been living with mama for 46 years. <laughs> While I've been having the headaches, the cancer, the heart disease, the surgery, doing the two strips, the books, the merchandise, writing the novels, raising the daughters and granddaughters, marrying the most incredible woman on earth, paying my dues, running the NCS, starring in TV shows, planning Reuben weekends, and writing 10,000 jokes for the Reuben Journal for 28 years. This is why tonight's for you, Mel. For always making things sound every th effortless while retaining an incredible ability to whine about it. <laughs> for taking on so much and still always having time to sit back with a cocktail, a cigar, and be a wonderful friend. For adding such class to our industry. For being a true gentleman's cartoonist. You have uplifted our business with your charm, your handsome face, your intelligence, your commitment, your graciousness, and your great New York style. We're here for, for you for elevating the, all the ones who came before you with your grand respect, for, res, for inspiring so many who came after you with your encouragement and support. You have made every single one of us more proud to be cartoonists, Mel. We're grateful for you for that. And for all of that, Mel, and for a thousand other things that each of us who loves you holds dear to us, bravo on tonight, and thank you for being my friend.